gotta admit, this is cool. Hello, Internet. And today, we have the episode two of The Buff Patch. Today, we are featuring Broman. He is benevolent. He's Roman. And most importantly, he's basically cult enforcer without a mask and a hoodie down. Corporate needs you to find the differences between this picture and this picture. They're the same picture. They look exactly the same. They're even the same element. But yeah, with the recent buffs, he now has Deathbreak on his S3, which I don't think um was the case before. And then his passive now is immune to silence, which is a direct counter to zero. That's kind of it. Although it sounds simple, but it's actually a game changer, especially against Zio. I am in silver, yes. But you know who else is silver? I don't know. I don't actually have an explanation. Wait, I'm not really actively playing the game. And well, this season's sort of like Cleaver's Rift season anyway, so I really don't want to play it. And I might honestly struggle even in silver. There's so many ways to counter everything I could like attempt. But we're gonna try and mess around with Roman, man. This is up my wheelhouse. And we're gonna see if my wheelhouse is like spinning well. Now, I say I'm silver, but this isn't really silver, you know what I'm saying? Like, I think most people at this point have every unit, even at low elo, so I think it's fair game. I'm gonna slam the Roman, man. I don't give a damn. Scenario A, they beautifully countered this by picking the world's most cringe shit. Scenario number B, they don't. Of all the things I've picked, what seems to have 30k health that you have to pick a ball splitter? I guess we're running a call. Uh, no, we do not want to come. We'll pick Jacko with Knuckle. I think we've got this, guys. They should never be able to ignore Knuckle's big-ass die. They have to ban her, right? Come on. What? What I feel I don't care about this thing? I'm gonna say I don't. Let's ban a mitigation. That's the thought of a cleaver. Oh, oh, the die has been demolished. Do I just not win now? I'm gonna outspeed. I'm gonna land my Broman Debos. If I land Death Breaks, they cannot win. And on top of that, I've got the synergy between Jacko and Broman. Yo, you guys are about to die. Watch this. The entire field is about to be plagued by debuffs. And boom. <laughs> Every one of them got hit. And with this, I should be <laughs> another debuff. With the extra proc, that's even more debuffs. Oh my god. Yo. So like at that point, we just die, no? Oh, duh. well, fair enough. We do. <laughs> Let me click it, but yo, 86% bro, man. That's one win. We're on a roll right now. Our MMR should be sky high. That means our next fight should be against a legend player. Up until this point, Broman did his job. He outspent a lot of this debuff. It is insane. If he landed everything and the enemy doesn't have anything against him, it's game over. But the problem arises when they pick, you know, Broman counters. I bet this, yeah, with that as a profile, I bet this guy will play really well. Okay, we have the team. They have to ban Knuckle again. I feel like Knuckle is just such a good, you know, force man. They have to bat it. They have. Huh? I guess they're trying to outspeed with C Lilius, which, you know what? Fair enough. We'll see who's faster. But I tell you, if I am faster, Knuckles about to destroy your butt. Let's find out. And here we- Oh, dear me. Someone's about to die. I'm definitely not gonna sober it, though. If I sober it, I get an extra turn. I might activate everything, which means freaking- I don't know why I just sh sh shut my ass up. Why did I just shut my ass up? Right, so the only best players to get an attack of murder of the MLK, which for sure I will. There we go. Put him in a gulag. Done. 32k with a burn here to murder off this thing. Light Serbia. And there we go. We got him. Wait, this is too clean though. But yeah, by the way. Oh, by the way, what? By the way, I win. That's what. But I was going to say, by the way, if the audio in this video is a disclaimer, if it's, if it's messed up, it's because my computer just broke down. I, I don't know, like upgrade stuff and buy new ones. It cost me a thousand bucks, man. How do people have savings? Yo, that's a base profile. Up until this point, Broman is just destroying everything. But I feel like, you know, the moment the enemy starts to like pick stuff that directly counters him, we are dead instantly. I'm hoping I find a Zeo. That's what. If they pick Zeo, usually that's a cleaver. If the enemy has a Zeo, you're dead. But if they pick a Zeo, I got a Broman. They can technically still ban a Broman and I still die, but let's hope they don't ban a Broman. Oh, praise be. If you shall last, you shall receive. Oh, you are too based. Right. We slam the Broman. Now, I don't need to outspeed this guy anymore, I'm pretty sure. I'm just gonna slam the knock wall. I have a stealth on knock wall, so if this Zeo's gonna like push Broman? Well, he can't be pushed back, and he cannot be silenced, so they are never gonna touch Broman, but they can hit someone else, though. That's the thing. Oh, I don't like that now. I definitely don't. We'll go for the Gulag, and we are going to go for some speed imprint. Probably you. Let's go for you. Yo, hello? Is that like a crit Z or something? We ban the Rod. We outspeed with Broman. They ban one of my imprint, but not all of my imprint, so we just do this. I can get Jacko's Jacko Shiro to be on none of my openers, but that should be fine. If I land a debuff anyway, I still get the push and they're dead. And here we go. Huh? 
How are you gonna let me do this to you? Well, don't mind if I do. Why do people not have a Zeo with actual, like, normal speed? This is weird. I don't know what to say. You might say, oh, I'm fast. No, my knuckle is 300. So with my imprint, it's 314, which I guess I can see how I might outspeed some Zeos. Yeah. Well, I guess it's another game that ends in, like, two turns. This should end you for sure. Boom, done. And we have a Roman. Why not? Get the burden, bro. Here comes Roman's S3. It also looks like the most standard S3 of all time. But yeah, dude, the debuffs are so disgusting. If you land Silence Death Break, like, what are they gonna do? If they can't cleanse it, it's just Jover. Gold, baby. Unlosable draft for real? But no, it, it's just because I'm still low elo, probably. And weirdly enough, I just outsped every zeal I saw. And weirdly enough... There's not a single Edward. Okay, that's another Zeo. These are really good fights for Bromid. I just don't know what happens if they ban the Bromid. Right, so Zeo should outspeed this. And I am thinking, he can't do S3, can he? Uh, can he? But yeah, they banned the Knuckle. So we have Bromid online with Chain of Shiran. This team is like a flat concrete team. So if I can break down these concrete, man, I actually think Bromid's pretty good. So here we go. Zeo should outspeed this time, right? What, what is wrong with Epic Set? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm confused. Uh, how do I honestly two? I'm I'm 295 and Roman plus 10, 305. No Zeo should not be able to outspeed this. Well, well if, since I did outspeed, it's just over now. Well, not that like if you had the turn, you would be fine. No, that's not the case. Right, we have Jacko now. I'm gonna just slam it on the Larao. There's no escort because we stripped him of Roman, so this should be very damn nearly a one shot or straight up is a one shot. Good. So we just win now. I'm not gonna burn. We're just gonna murder you. There we go. So. So we are winning against Zeo, a hundred percent win rate, mind you. But it's mostly because I, I outright outspent them. I'm not even fast though. That's the thing, I'm not. All right, that's another win. Yo, am I just going to legend? What's happening? We now have peak cringe. All right, let's see how Broman deals with this. Right, so we are forced to fight this. Now, this is a really standard anti-cleave team. Even in higher elo, you'll probably see this, right? So I think it'll be a really good gauge of what Broman can do. They definitely bad, uh, tackle for sure. So we do have a Roman, I guess. Now, two counters from Laddie, instantly I die. Let's see what happens, man. We should be able to strip all of the anti-crit though, if I'm lucky enough. So that's what I'm banking for. But if they just countered two times, I instantly die. I'm not gonna burn. If I burn, that's just more avenue for them to ruin my life. Watch this counter into Salvo kill my whole team, man. This is why I don't play the game. Bang, counter there. One shot, eh, almost. And, uh, no Salvo about. Ooh, maybe there is hope. Maybe I shouldn't give up. Right, so why I should give up? Exhibit B. I can't do anything to them. There's nothing I can do. I'm gonna be forced to hit you, which I'm not gonna crit. They have escort, so I did not get rid of it. So this is not gonna kill you, and we just die. Are we gonna die, though? We might not, actually, guys. We're gonna burn this on the hang guy. If they counter here, we might die, though. We'll, we'll find out. Here we go. It should be a one-shot. Oh, that's, that's too close, man. What? Right, now I'm gonna actually kill off the escort, and then activate, uh, freaking... Pavel, that should take care of the Lanny, right? I mean, almost. But there we go, we got him. That's an actual team, like, not even low elo or anything. This is a team that I would fully expect being picked against any Cleavers, even in high elo, right? We are winning based on just... Well, the fact that Emilani didn't counter enough. And secondly, well, I would actually die to Senya. But well, she has silence on her, so nothing they can do anymore. There we go. We got him. Double with a crit, man. You don't have holy sack to you. There we go. That's beautiful. And that's an actual team. That's an actual good play, right? Like, I'm not just gear gapping or anything. That's fully the draft. And again, it's fully just Emilani not feeling like countering three times in a row. That's why I don't play. Because I know even if I win, oh, it's just because Emilani didn't counter. But yo, Broman up at this point, he's undefeated right now. Well, mostly just still because I don't know why nobody picks Edward and why? How is that an actual official art? That's a lot of cake, even though I'm saying. I guess we're going the Broman and I guess we'll slam off. You know what? I'm gonna bait the Edward. Surely some of you pick Edward. No Edward, but it's even worse for me. That's that's terrible for me. Technically, I could silence this guy, right? Yeah, I could. I'm gonna go for the Knockwall. This will be my team. I think we're gonna die. Huh? Never mind. We might not die anyway. We have to battle this. They should let a knock wall. They- what? So you're just, Okay, let's see. Is this gonna be the widest spectrum of bullshit I've ever seen? On one hand, I got Zeo not outspeeding my Broman. On the other hand, I'm, I'm getting what? ML Lilius outspeeds both of my openers? It could happen, guys. But here we go. No speed imprint on both ends. So, ha <laughs> ha. Well, that's GG's. I, I've got a book holder on Broman as well, so here's the Soul Broman Knockwall. Knockwall on the Stealth Artifact is also so good against Zeo, right? So they, they have no choice but to hit Broman if they want to get rid of my openers. So with this, they die. We'll seal off the only person that has a passive. <laughs>
And we got him, guys. We have destroyed Silver Flag. Now, unless I don't crit, which I have 1% chance to do so. I only got 99% crit rate on, on Jackal, guys. But there we go. Defeat is the fake female protagonist. Prevail is the one with the Gulag. Right, so now we got a Broman. I don't even know what to do with you. Like, is there anything I need to do with you? I guess we'll go for the S3. We'll land some Debos. We'll land some Silence of Death Breaks. Why not? And a Bane. Oh, 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 out she go. Yo, we are, we are just winning too much now. <laughs> Nine consecutive victories in what 20 minutes how many points is that well i guess i had a good enough show for you to see kind of how broman works but the issue you would see is firstly i don't know why but every freaking zero i see gets outspent by me and it's not like they look scuffed or anything they have full awakening they're they're less scuffed than i am my flinica still four star awakening man another zero that didn't else beat me but i will say this will be that actual draft that anti cleaves which in, in the end i'm still just lucky versus ml laddie you though know? but broman has the capability to just dismantle everything right because you know she, he's got the death break and strip if you just have that it's a really good opener but the moment i pick edwin and all that i it crumbles now, but I just can't get a game where they have Edward somehow. And ladies and gentlemen, that is Benevolent Roman in all his glory. He definitely isn't the fastest character as well, so if the enemy goes for like speed racing, you are gonna probably struggle a bit. But against hyper tank teams, he has to strip into Death Break, which is perfect to chain it into Jacko. Or you know, he has the AoE with strip as well to chain it into someone high mysterious. So yes, Roman is actually a top tier opener at the moment, I, I would say. Mix that with the Silence Man, no Senya can just 1v for you. I think it's pretty good. I would actually keep it built. But anyways, guys, hope you guys enjoyed. That'll be all for now. Take care.